Well, what I'm really good at is reading people. I'm good at reading cues in people's faces and telling what they're thinking. What I'd like to do is be a counselor. Not quite a psychologist or a therapist, just a counselor. I want to listen to people and help them hear themselves. Of course, that's still a long way down the road. I need to graduate from community college, and then I'd love to go to the university. But right now, I'm happy with my job. I just started, and everyone seems so nice. I'm just reminding myself that it's a step, and it's necessary. I'm grateful for it, really. Um, I was really just asking what your specials were on the menu. Oh, um, well, it's Thursday, so meatloaf? How did it go? Really well, I think. I suggested the meatloaf, and they're going with it. Meatloaf is always a good choice. Did you work on what we talked about? What's that? The cutting down the chatter and oversharing of personal information. Oh, yeah, I was all business. Uh huh. Hey, grab a seat. We'll be right with you. How are you today? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm great. Thanks. My name is Grace. I'll be your server. Grace. Hmm. I'm training. Yes, I'm new, but don't worry. I'm going to take good care of you. I'm not worried about it. We're all in training, I guess, if you think about it. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Well, right now, I'm really just after a cup of coffee. One coffee coming up. Hey, did you see that new guy who came in? Yeah, I told him we'll be right with him. Oh, no, I got him, but does he look familiar to you? No, I don't think so. He's not a regular, and I've never seen him before. Why? I don't know. Um, I just feel like I've seen him before. Okay. All right, you ready to order? I don't know. Maybe. Let me ask your opinion first. What's your favorite thing? You mean on the menu? Well, that would be most relevant to me, but I'm open to suggestions. It's hard to say. I haven't eaten a whole lot here since I'm new and all, but the meatloaf is always a good choice. Meatloaf sounds good. Okay, come on right up. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you from around here? I don't think that I've seen you around before, but you look familiar. Oh, I'm from all over. What about you? Me? Are you from around here? Oh, yeah. Uh, me and my mom, we've been here my whole life. What about your dad? He hasn't really been in the picture, at least as far as I can remember. My mom said that he, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what are you sorry for? Um. Some people tell me that I overshare. That's really just a matter of perspective, don't you think? I mean, most people don't share enough. Maybe some people just don't care that much. Well, my mom said that my dad left because he wasn't ready to have a kid. But then she says that it wasn't my fault, so those two things never quite made sense to me. I'm sure that wouldn't make much sense. Anywho, I'll go get that meatloaf started for you. Thank you for coming in. Maybe we'll see you again soon? Maybe. Hey. What would you say to him? Your father, if you ever saw him. I'm never going to see him. You could. 
he could just wander in here someday, just a random guy off the street. Are you serious? Let's say I'm him. What would you say? Well, I've had a lot of time to think about that. For so long, I wanted to ask why. Why did he leave me and my mom when we could barely make ends meet? Why did he leave me with no idea of who he is? Just another cliche girl with daddy issues. But you know, no answer to why would really matter. I wish that I could tell him about all of the things that he's missed. All of the big days, the happy days, the scary days, all of the things that make up a life so that he would know what he was really missing. But to be honest, he's not worth it. I guess when it comes down to it, what I really want to say is fuck you. Well, I guess that's fair. What about you? Do you have something to say for yourself? Honey, I'm not your father. But you could be, right? Just any random stranger off the street. Tell me, what would my father say to that? Well, he'd probably want to say he was sorry, but he would know that that didn't mean much. And he'd probably want to say how proud he is of No, you. you don't get to say that. You don't get to be proud. You have nothing to do with who I am and who I've become. Feel better? A little bit. Anything else? I don't know. I guess I'd like to say that I forgive you. Not because you deserve it. Not because you need it. It's not really about you. It's so that I can move on. I'm tired, tired of carrying all of this around. So yeah, I forgive you. Thank you, Grace. You're welcome. I didn't catch your name. Craig. You're welcome, Craig. Drive safe out there. Thank you. I will. So, what's the story? Did you know him? No. No, we just met. 